lovely people how are you today i hope you had an amazing weekend and this week is starting on so well for you a happy new month from the newness space to you it's the month of december god has been faithful i'm sure he has also been faithful to you bringing you all the way from january now to december it's been god you can agree with me on that Anyway, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am excited. And to all my subscribers, God bless you. Can you imagine a channel without subscribers? So that means you guys make the newness space to be in existence. And for that, I am so grateful. God bless you. We are actually at 100 plus subscribers. Yay! We are now on our way to 150 subscribers. And I know that is possible. Yes. If you're new to this channel, my name is Ini, And you're watching the newness space. I hope you will find reasons to show this channel some love by giving it a high five with your subscription down below. Just click on the subscribe button and that is all. It it is free you won't be charged anything all right so today i bring to you another interesting topic i will be having my fourth guest on this channel today and guess what it's a man <laughs> yes so my fourth guest is a man this time around and he's going to be telling us about his labor and delivery experience with his wife yes so how what was his experience like being in the labor and delivery room with his wife that is what he will be talking about and i think it's good to hear from a man's perspective about labor and delivery how was their experience when they were there with their wife so my guest today is fred okendo yeah <laughs> yeah so fred okendo will be telling us about his labor and delivery experience not his story his experience <laughs> while there with his wife so let's give a round of applause to fred okendo as he tells us his story anyway let's get straight into that video as we allow him tell us about his experience <music> I am a, a proud husband and a father and I'm very excited to be part of the new May space uh, today. Thank you very much Ini for the opportunity to share my experience uh, through the journeys of uh, labor and delivery. Uh, just a disclaimer, uh, it's not my delivery and the labor story. It's my experience working with my wife through her labor journey and, of course, delivery. I was in the delivery room. Yes, full stop, I was. And uh, it was one of uh, uh, those experiences that uh, have a mark in my life uh, because it was um, sweet, Oh, let me say nice and difficult at the same time. It was uh, sweet uh, or nice uh, to be there and uh, provide security <laughs> for the baby and support for my wife. But it was also difficult to just calm my wife down uh, because the pain and the relief, that kind of uh, cycle uh, wasn't really an easy uh, experience for my wife. But it was good to be there to uh, just provide her the support. Uh, what motivated me to be inside the delivery room? Uh, now that uh, I've never had a man get into the delivery room, uh, you probably have seen, but personally, I've never had. My father was not in the delivery room, at least from what I know. Uh, one, I was encouraged by my friends to be inside there. They told me uh, it would be a great gift for your wife and, and the baby. So I felt, oh, okay, uh, if this is going to be the first gift I'm going to give to my baby, then yes, let me get into the delivery room. So I was there, and it was really, really good. Number two, motivation was that I would be the first person to welcome my baby into the world. Uh, my wife gave birth to her, and then I would be the first person to welcome her. 
to be inside the world. And motivation number three was just to be there for my wife. Uh, not, nothing more, nothing much. Uh, did I have fears? Yes, I had <laughs> huge fears. And uh, two of the major fears uh, were, uh, which, which were, I, I felt was more pronounced was one, uh, the responsibilities were going to increase. I mean, the need to uh, provide for uh, the baby, uh, some things that would increase, uh, buying diapers every month, all those things. I mean, those are some of the things, sometimes are very small things to some people, but yes, I've never really done this. And so uh, the experience of having to buy diapers every month was one thing that certainly was going to increase into the responsibility. Uh, especially the budget and the financial bit, among the many others that were going to were going to be there. But uh, number two fear, which I felt was a bigger one, was the question of did I really have what it takes to raise a family? Yes, I had what it take. I, I, I had what it took to <laughs> impregnate my wife. <laughs> But did I have what it take to raise up a family? <laughs> to raise up children, to raise up a child, uh, another life that I doesn't care whether I have the money or I don't have. Another life that doesn't care whether I have a job or I don't have a job. So that to me was really a, a bigger one. Did I have what it takes? What it takes to raise up a family? Well, so far I can say that God has enabled me to do uh, quite and exactly that. And uh, the everyday emotions, uh, I would say God has been faithful to give me the ability and to provide in amazing and amazing ways that uh, I can't really experience, I can't, I can't really explain in um, a physical terms. So yes, those were my fears. Uh, what are some of the lessons that I learned in this process? Uh, again, two major lessons among the many lessons that I learned. And one of them is um, my respect for women, and more especially to mothers, uh, I would say is at another level. Uh, because I, I now understand why mothers are more protective of their children. Uh, and uh, protecting my wife right now is a responsibility that I can't delegate to anyone else. Uh, not that I didn't respect women before, uh, but having seen my wife go through the motions, the pain, uh, the relief, the third cycle in itself was uh, something that really changed my perspective about mothers and women. And so yes, I still respect women and now I respect them much more. Uh, and uh, just imagining that my mother gave birth to me, uh, now the big size that I am, <laughs> and uh, now my wife. So I, I kind of now look at those these, these two women, and, and I see I see greatness that in, in, that, that that they've given into in, into life. So they, they they give they give life, and that is. is is something uh, of a much responsibility that must be appreciated. Number two lesson uh, that I learned was that uh, women need emotional, uh, physical, and, and even spiritual support uh, because they want someone to work with them through the journey of labor and delivery. Uh, since the pain is quite a lot, uh, my wife needed someone to be there to grant her uh, that presence, to, 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 to let her know that she's not going through that alone. There's someone who is backing her up, uh, either rubbing her back, um, telling her that uh, this is just shortly, it will soon come to an end. You can do this, uh, such such kind of uh, positive vibes uh, that that would 
make a bit of a difference uh, in her thinking. But more importantly, to pray for her and with her uh, through that process. We prayed for a normal delivery and uh, God heard our prayer and it came through. Uh, yes, God came through and he heard our prayer and, and yes, he answered that prayer. Oh, what advice would I give to men? <laughs> this is a difficult one since uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm an authority to give an advice in this. But having gone through the experience, I, I can share a few. Uh, and uh, major one is your wife, my brother, needs uh, your support to work with her through this journey. Uh, that cycle of pain is, is, is quite excruciating. And uh, she, needs you to, she needs to know that you were there by her side. You knocked her up. So be the man. Stand up for yourself and for her. And show her that you can take care of her through the pain and even after the pain. I think that's the major advice that I can give to a fellow man who could be in a similar situation. And yes, that's much of my sharing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, just click the subscribe button and uh, let's share the stories and see to it that our men, brothers out there become better fathers and better husbands. Thank you for watching. Uh, cheers and God bless you.